Somebody in my community alerted me to one of the weirdest bugs in Minecraft Bedrock. It relates to sprinting if you are using an Intel CPU. This is really interesting because it does not happen when you're playing Minecraft Bedrock on a AMD CPU. How it works is that if you are sprinting, if you press A or D, it will cancel your sprint, even if you still have W held. Let me show you what that looks like. So I have a normal Minecraft instance pulled up here. And as you can see, I'm sprinting. And if I press A, cancels the sprint. If I'm pressing D, cancels the sprint. This is not normal or expected behavior. This is a bug and it's pretty annoying. And uh, there are people in my community who have talked about this and they've said, hey, it's really annoying that I can't strafe. You know, if you're playing, uh, let's say like the hive, uh, and you're, you're trying to kill some people, uh, if you can't strafe, that is a pretty bad disadvantage. Luckily, there is a very nice, quick and easy fix for this. So, I'm going to quit out of the game, and as you can see, I am using the Minecraft Bedrock Linux Launcher. And I got this from Flathub. So here it is, you can install it. Again, I, assuming if you're watching this video, you're a Linux user, so you know all about this stuff. Um, but this is the uh, Flatpak I am using. And what's really nice about this launcher is that it has a built-in mod section. So in here, you can see there are a few kind of helpful little things you can tweak. And right here is what you're looking for. It's MCPE Launcher Strafe Sprint Fix. If you click that, you can click the download button. What this does is it downloads a patch file or basically a mod. Now, as any good person will do, they shouldn't just download a random file from a stranger on the internet. Uh, it's good to always double check what's happening in the code. Although, of course, I think that, you know, considering that it's in the software, there is a sort of built in trust with it. Um, but just for good, you know, internet hygiene, uh, it's a good idea to do this and actually take a look at what's happening in the code. So how does this actually do anything? Well, if you go into the source, we can see it's a C++ file. Here is the code. And you can go, you can copy this. It's a relatively short uh, piece of code here. And you can go into Gemini and say, uh, what's happening here? And Gemini is an AI, uh, if you haven't seen it before. And I'll basically kind of walk you through, okay, this is what's happening which I think is, is good to know, like, how does this actually fix this bug? It's going to say at the bottom uh, that it's it's going to fix uh, the code in a particular way. Um, it's kind of some nerdy stuff, but in essence, uh, I believe it's, it's kind of modifying the client uh, to kind of fix this. Um, like I said, it's always good to kind of look through the code, see what's going on, but this is a, you know, trusted, like, little uh, thing you can download, so it's really nothing to, to worry about. Um, but I want to kind of re reiterate the point that it's always good to double check. So now that you've kind of verified that, yeah, this is doing what you want it to do, you have the file downloaded, you need to actually put it into your client. Now you'll see that, uh, there's an installed mod section. If you go to FAQ, it's going to kind of tell you the same thing I'm about to tell you that you need to go into settings and storage. You want to go to the data root. This is going to open up the root for the launcher. And if you don't have it already, you need to create a mods folder. So mods, then go to downloads, and you can copy that file over. Paste that in here. Great, so now that file is in there. Just for good measure, I'm going to close this, and then I will reopen it. And then let's load up Minecraft and see if the bug was fixed. Ah, no. Don't do that. Okay, moment of truth. And yes, it works completely fine. I can strafe. I can finally strafe now because the A and D keys are no longer canceling out the sprint. I'm able to go this direction, this direction, do all kinds of things that I can normally do. There's no longer that bug uh, related to sprinting on my Minecraft client. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, I thought this is a really interesting bug, kind of a niche problem. Uh, if you're like a Linux user using Minecraft Bedrock and you want to strafe and you can't because of this bug, well now hopefully 
you will not be encountering that issue anymore because you follow the steps in this guide. So, yep. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day. Bye for now.